In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with inscribed angles in circles. In example A, it says, find the measure of arc DC and the measure of angle ADB. So first, let's find the measure of arc DC. That's right here. And what we notice in relation to this arc is an angle that intercepts that arc. This is an inscribed angle because it's all the way on the other side of the circle, and that means that it is half the measure of the arc. So that means that the arc is twice the measure of the angle. So arc DC must be 90 degrees because 45 times 2 is 90. So the measure of arc DC equals 90 degrees. For angle ADB, that's right here, and this is an inscribed angle to this arc AB. So that means this angle is half of 76. So half of 76 is 38 degrees, so that means the angle is 38 degrees. So remember that inscribed angles are always half the measure of arcs, and arcs are always double the measure of the inscribed angle. All right, example B, find the measure of angle ADB and the measure of angle ACB. So these angles are right here. And what you need to notice is that each angle intercepts the same arc. Each angle intercepts arc AB. So that means these two angles are going to be congruent because they're both inscribed angles of the same arc. And to figure out their measure, we just have to take the measure of the arc 124 degrees and divide by 2. And we get 62 degrees. So the measure of angle ADB equals the measure of angle ACB, and both of those equal 62 degrees. All right. In example C, it says find the measure of angle DAB, so that's right here, in circle C. So because it's called circle C, it means that C is the center of the circle, which means that DB right here, because it goes through the center, must be a diameter. And that means that this angle right here is an inscribed angle to a semicircle. This has to be half the circle because the diameter cuts the circle in half. So that means because the semicircle is a 180 degrees, this angle must be actually a right angle, 90 degrees. So the measure of angle DAB equals 90 degrees, which means that this triangle right here, by the way, is a right triangle.